I have four distinguishable bars and two indistinguishable boxes. How many ways are there to arrange the bars in these two boxes? Well, first we gotta talk about what these two huge words mean: the distinguishable and indistinguishable. Well, in, well, distinguishable that just means they're completely different. They're two different things. We see them as different. We we can't see them as the same thing. Like how a diamond and a ruby, those two things are different. They're not the same thing. But indistinguishable, well, in means not. Distinguishable means different. So this means not different, meaning it, they're completely the same. These two are same boxes. A diamond and a diamond, they're indistinguishable. They're the same things. So all this means is that I don't care about ball A. I mean, I don't care about which box the ball A is in. Ball A could be in here, or ball A could be in here. We don't care about where ball A is. But what we do care about is where the balls are. Distinguishable balls. We care about what the balls are. That we put in these two boxes, these indistinguishable boxes. So there's actually two ways to solve this problem. One of the stupid ones, well, faster. And I think you can probably tell by the way I say stupid way first and then faster way. We're gonna do the stupid way first, but don't be afraid to do the stupid way. I mean, I hate to admit, but I have to. I do stupid things all the time too, so we're gonna do the stupid way thing first because I do that all the time. So the stupid way we're gonna do here to solve this problem is by using casework. And if you didn't know about casework, casework just means there's some things that could happen, and we count how many ways could, how many possible different ways would happen if one of those cases came true. And what this means is. If I have the balls arranged four to zero, meaning four to zero, meaning four balls in one box, zero balls in the other box. If this is true, that's one of our cases. One of our cases. If this is true, then that means there's going to be one possibility to make it so that four to zero is true. But note that zero to four is the same thing as four to zero because we don't care where four balls, where four balls are, because these two are indistinguishable boxes. They're the exact same boxes. We don't care where the ball, where the balls are. We care about what they are. So now we got two more cases to consider. Furry one, we're gonna consider that first, and then we're gonna consider two two, where the boxes have the same number of balls. Well, furry one, one one of the possibilities for furry one is to have A being lonely, A alone, and B C D on the other side. And we can note that by this kind of diagram, we know that there has to be at least one lonely, one lonely little ball that in one of these boxes. So. I'm gonna write down all those conditions. That could be A to B C D, the one we're showing right now, or we could swap the A and B to get B versus A C D, and we can do the same kind of swapping thing for the other two, the C and D. Swap the C and A to get C versus A B D. And last one, we have D versus the other three, A, B, C, and these will be our four combinations or possibilities when they have three one. Because note again that if we move on, that, that if we swap these two, we're, we're they're the same, indistinguishable boxes. We don't care about where we, we don't care about where the balls are. So, anyways, we move, we move on to two two. Now, two two, a little more complicated, but we'll use the same strategy that we did with the three one. We look at one arrangement and see that okay, that arrangement will be A B versus C D. So now we basically do the same thing. We look at what will happen if A stays in this box. If B stays in this box, if C stays in this box, or if D stays in this box, now we first start with the A staying in this box. If the A stays in this box, where there's one combination, A B versus C D, the one we're showing, A B 
versus C, D. And another one, we swap the B and C because, again, note that we want A to stay in this box. We'll have A and C, A and C versus B and D. A, C versus B, D. And one last one, swap the B and D. A, D versus B, C. And since all these are combinations that we had not counted before, and note that when I say had count, you can probably guess that there's going to be some possibilities that we already counted in here. You see what I mean. Now let's look at what happens when B stays here. Well, there's, again, three possibilities. That would be B, A, C, D, B, C, A, D, and... It will be B, D versus A, C. But A, A and B, C and D, we already counted that. It doesn't matter if these two are different, that we swap them the order because they're still in the same box. So we, we already counted that one. We can't count that possibility. Same with here, we, we already counted that. B, C versus A, D, we counted that. That one's not a possibility. Oh, you're saying with B, D, A, C. B, D, A, C. Doesn't matter that we swap the orders. So none of the possibilities when B stays in this box can be counted as another one. So now we want to see, see if we can see. Okay, C, C. Okay, so this is pretty funny. Pretty funny. We see if C stays in here and we see if we get any more combinations. Well, First of all, again, we have A, B, C, D. A, B versus C, D. Swap the C and B. I mean, I mean the D and A. B, D and B, I should say. D and B to get D, A versus C, B. And our third and last combination to which will be D A versus taking a little time over here. Yeah. D B C A. D B C A. Okay, took a little time there. Sorry about the time control. <laughs> Please don't leave me. So again we see that A B C D we counted that already. Again, not a combination. D A C B. Okay, D A stands for Dallas, though. <laughs> D A. D A. Uh, D A. C B. C B. Canada already. That's a combination we can't count either. So D. So this doesn't work. Let's turn our last one. D B and C A. D B C A. I mean, oh, sorry, not there. D, B, C, A, counted that already. Now, note that we're expecting none of the possibilities for D to be correct either. So we're expecting the answer to be three, but just to make sure, we'll check D, see if what happens when D stays again, see if there is any new possibilities. Well, again, we know A, B, C, D. Very old combination. <laughs> and then we have swap the CNA to get BC versus CA and DA. DA. And we got that. We swap the, I mean, the C with the B to get DB versus C, C A. And now we look at if there's if any of these are new combinations. Okay, probably not, but we'll check again. Well, D B look for D B A okay. Well we counted this one already. A B C D B C D A. Well B C D, A, count it out, too. So these two are out, one final one. See if they'll get us up to four. 
DB, I mean BD, same thing. BD got that CA. Count that already. And that means none of the B stay, C stay, or D stay, none of those will work. So we only have to check A. That's one, two, three possibilities. And just add these up. Five plus three. I mean, one plus four is five. Five plus three is eight. Okay, now, after all this confusion, we have already forgot that there was an easier way to solve this problem without all of this, like, casework and stuff like that. And, of course, we only really need this little space to solve this problem. Seriously. That's how much space we need. Well, we first look at what happens when all these are distinguishable. When the four balls are distinguishable and so are the boxes. The boxes are distinguishable instead of indistinguishable. Well, that would have two balls. I mean, two choices for the first one, two choices for the second one, two choices for the third one, two choices for the fourth one. Which will be two to the fourth which equals 16, but 16 is not equal to eight. But why? Because this is when the boxes are distinguishable. I mean, yeah, and distinguishable, but we want indistinguishable. Indistinguishable. So, since there's two boxes, we divide the answer by two. 16 divided by two is Eight ways to divide up four distinguishable balls, the distinguishable balls, into two indistinguishable boxes.